Continuing along on our DFO offseason countdown, where I take a look at the 10 biggest storylines I'm keeping an eye on for next season in the NHL. Today, we're on number six, and it is the Babcock era in Columbus. While I understand that that hiring may have some Blue Jackets fans feeling a little bit nervous, he's been out of the league for two years, and I think it was a worthy roll of the dice to see if maybe he's learned some lessons and can get back to being the good coach he was in Detroit. Outside of Babcock, there are plenty of pieces of this roster that have me excited. Look at the blue line. They added Damon Severson. They added Ivan Provorov. And they're going to get Zach Wierenski back. Their number one D-man missed basically the entire season last year. That is a big, big upgrade. And it should make life easier on Elvis Merz-Lickens, who's looking for a big bounce back in the crease for the Blue Jackets. Also on that blue line, they're going to have David Juracek. And a lot of people think he could be a legit top four reliable D-man for this team. The upside with Juracek is huge. And the youth wave doesn't stop there for the Blue Jackets either. Look up front. Last year, we saw pieces like Kent Johnson and Cole Sillinger slide into the lineup. This year, there's going to be even more. The number three overall pick, Adam Fantilli, signed with the Blue Jackets. He could be a factor on their NHL club this year. And you add those young pieces to guys like Patrick Laine and Johnny Goudreau, and all of a sudden, the Columbus Blue Jackets could have a sneaky electric offense this season. That power play could take a big step forward. Babcock and the upgraded blue line should lead to less pucks in their net as well. This is a Blue Jackets team that finished dead last in the Eastern Conference last year. I think they're going to push to get more than 80, more than 85 points. I would not be that surprised if this Blue Jackets team, if they stay healthy, is in the mix for a playoff spot towards the end of the season. It could be an exciting year for the fifth line fans in Columbus.